Peggy 18. Once upon a time, the world of dreams, reverie, was invaded by nightmares. The Raven's Watch, ravens that protect reverie, called upon fallen heroes of fairy tales and legends to join forces to defend the world. From the developers of the acclaimed Curse of the Dead Gods, this upcoming action roguelike is set in a dark fantasy tale and playable solo or in online co-op up to four players. You play as twisted versions of old folk fairy tale heroes. Little Red Riding Hood, the Pied Piper, the Snow Queen. Choose from six popular characters, each with their own playstyles. Master their abilities and fight back against the evil corrupting the world. More heroes will be added during the early access. Explore vast and ever-changing chapters with their own cast of enemies and quests. Collect dream shards to buy power-ups and magical objects from the Sandman and fight hordes of enemies to level up. Each hero has multiple abilities at their disposal. First is the trait, a hero's core mechanic that defines their gameplay. For instance, Scarlet transforms into the wolf at night, Beowulf carries a worm that empowers his next attacks, Aladdin can call the genie of the lamp to make a wish. Each hero also has a dash, three different attacks, and one defensive ability. Finally unlocking their ultimate ability when reaching level five. These abilities are improved with the experience you gain from battles. Each level up makes you stronger and gives you the opportunity to choose a new upgrade that improves one of your abilities. All of this makes each of the six heroes completely unique and gives each run a different flavor. Play them to find out. In typical roguelike fashion, each run is an attempt at defeating the horde of nightmares. If they get you, your run is over and you'll need to restart, but don't lose hope. Each run is an opportunity to unlock better magical objects and upgrades for your next attempt. As well as learning more about the heroes and world stories, Raven's Watch offers countless hours of challenges, both in solo and in four-player co-op. Find the best combination of heroes, each with their own intricacies, and make those synergies count as the challenge scales with the number of players. Join now and follow us along the journey of making the next roguelike jet. Thank you. 
Hello, we are Lukas and Thomas from Hecate and this is Ad Infinitum. Ad Infinitum is a project that started in 2014 during our study years. Back in the days, as students, we worked on solely a mere concept and trailer. We later got surprised by the traction it received. While the idea for this game has been stuck in our heads for years and after several small advances with prototypes, we finally started to commit ourselves to a full-time production in 2019. With crazy ambitions and a passion for horror and darker themed games, we gathered a team of young, international, passionate people in Berlin. This is my ball, and don't you forget it! In Art Infinitum, you play a young German soldier who's trapped between two realities. Within one reality, you have the opportunity to explore a seemingly abandoned mansion in Berlin. Unveil the sinister secrets that haunt this place while unraveling the echoes of its past. The other reality confronts you with the gruesome scenes of World War I. You have to crawl through the muddy trenches of the east of France and explore various other places themed around the Great War, which you can explore in the final game. In our game, you will have to solve intricate enigmas that challenge your troubled mind. A mind so distorted that it is completely losing its grip on reality. Now it's up to you, the player, to figure out what is real and what might be manifestations of a never-ending nightmare. While encountering various manifested horrors throughout the game, you are bound to uncover the truth. The truth so disturbing that we ask you, can you handle it? We are very excited to show you more of the game in the near future. Together with Naken, we are hard at work to bring the vision of Ad Infinitum to life. This project is very dear to us, and to create the best possible experience for you, we have to ask you for a little bit more patience. You would never be content to release this game that is so dear to us in a state we deem not polished enough. This is why we decided to move the release from April to September this year. We thank you for your understanding and ongoing support. In the meantime, make sure to wishlist the game on Steam and follow us on social media to be updated on the advancements of the game. Here you will also be able to find more content about Ad Infinitum. Thank you all and see you next time. Hi everyone, and welcome to this short gameplay overview of Clash, Artifacts of Chaos. Clash is an adventure fighting game set in Xenozoic, a world that some of you may have already explored in the Xeno Clash games. You play as a hermit, Pseudo, who embarks on a journey with a small companion he calls The Boy. For reasons you'll discover in the game, mercenaries commanded by an all-powerful ruler are trying to capture The Boy, so Pseudo sets out on an adventure to protect him. In traditional RPGs, you equip weapons. In Clash, you equip combat stances, lightning-fast attacks, slow but powerful blows, long-range moves. You can switch between your favorites whenever you want and adapt to the enemies you face. As you progress and explore the world, you unlock new stances and upgrade the ones you prefer to custom your own devastating fighting style. The gameplay takes inspiration from 2D fighting games, like in those, you can interrupt the animation of a regular attack to launch a special attack and create custom combos, which makes fights very fluid and fast. Another cool feature is that when your rage meter is fully charged, you can switch the viewpoint to first-person mode. If you then manage to complete a full sequence of attacks, you'll execute a spectacular finisher. Before a fight breaks out, you can choose to challenge an enemy to the ritual. 
This game is quick and simple. Both opponents throw the dice and use items on the board to try and get the highest score. The winner gets a buff or special ability for the fight that follows, such as making the loser lose HP whenever they stop moving, or summoning an extra ally for support. Of course, winning or losing the ritual doesn't mean you'll win or lose the fight. Basically, it's giving you either an opportunity to get the upper hand or an additional challenge to overcome. When exploring the world, you'll sometimes find sites where you can set up camp. You can use the tent to sleep and advance time to night, when Pseudo dreams and takes the form of a wooden alter ego. At night, enemies are darker and fiercer, hidden chests and items appear, and new paths open up. In Clash, switching between your two forms is key to fully explore the world and to progress in your journey. Finally, if you die during the day, you get another chance by respawning at night at the last place you set up camp. If you manage to return to your body by fending off the nighttime enemies in your way, you'll be able to revive and rescue the boy just in time. There are countless other features and secrets to be discovered in Clash. We hope you enjoyed this brief gameplay overview and that we'll see you soon in Xenozoic.
Dear Elizabeth, I imagine the fields of Lansbury are beautiful now, blooming with the dawn and shining in the sun. I was shot in the leg last week, but don't worry, they took good care of me. William gave his all to bring me out of the trench. I want to tell you what it's like to be here, so I can imagine you're here with me. They brought me to the CCS, where they had to choose who to save and who would die. This is the last one we can afford to save. Leave all the others. Poor men. Life here's hell, but it's better than being in the trenches. They're trying to make more room and make things better, but it's hard. I got on the table quickly. The German who shot me had more sympathy in his eyes than the surgeon. They're exhausted, but they're still doing their best. We can't do a good job under these conditions. Where are the bandages I asked for? Some of them keep scouting for supplies. It's a dangerous thing to do during these troubled times, and they have to make tough decisions. Will they ever forgive us, Sergeant? I can hear the whistle blowing. New soldiers are coming, and I have to join them. I'm ready to go back, but I'm not sure my mind is. If you ever meet a chap that says he wants to go back, call him a liar. I'll love you forever. You're Jack. Hello, my name is Andrea Di Stefano. I'm the game director on Gangs of Sherwood. Today, I'm pleased to be able to share with you the first minutes of gameplay of our upcoming co-op action game. As you may have guessed, it's based on the Robin Hood legend, but you'll see, I think it's a bit different than what you might expect. I hope you enjoy. At last, Kirkley's Keep, sinister lair of the Prioress. Wow. I hope we can find some of these workers alive. Your brother included, Tuck. I could use a day without any lethal traps around me. I'll feel ya! I almost died twice today! That time's a joke! Plus! Plus! That scream? I've heard people suffer all my life. This is something else. This prison was designed to hold hundreds of people. And yet, most of the cages are empty. Where are all the prisoners? I have a feeling we're fighting them. Our opponents here are different from the goons we fought in Loxley. Aren't you allergic to pollen, brother? I remember the sneezing and the gallons of snot. I almost said bless you! And you would have lied. Great time. Whoa. How about that? Looks like someone mixed steel and body parts to an uncertain outcome. Prairies! Show yourself! Your hellish deeds cease tonight! The rebirth of my child, born from flesh and steel, drenched in so much blood. But we want more. We want yours. Make your mother proud, Red Roger of Nottingham!
gnaws iron, bites steel, grinds hard stones to kneel. So shiny, yes, so beautiful. My precious. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us, Gandalf. The Dark Lord! What did you tell him? Nothing. I swear. The Lord sent me, his emissary, to oversee matters in person. Bring it back. Kill it, if need be. We must find help. He mustn't see us. No, not him. Don't be scared. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Come back with a warrant, cop. All right. Uh, all of the arcade staff. We'll sell to you. Drugs in the basement. I will take care of that. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. <laughs> Surrender your weapons. No chance! One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness.